This is the last day of cycling in Italy, but not the last video in the mini series of Ribble Rides Bikepacking Trip to Italy, Tuscany edition. Tuscany is almost all hills and mountains, an estimated 65% of Tuscany is comprised of hills, while another 25% is mountainous. I certainly notice this. <music> Since 1946, Vespa has been manufacturing scooters at the Piaggio plant in Pontidera. Vespa has a museum in Pontidera, but unfortunately we didn't have time to stop. The word Vespa means wasp in Italian and Latin, it's so called because of its shape. Rinaldo Piaggio founded Piaggio, a luxury shipbuilding company in 1884, which later diversified into aircraft manufacturing. The original Vespas were built with aircraft engines and other aircraft parts with other aircraft design concepts used in the design. After World War II, the business moved from aircraft to scooter production as there was a need for low cost transport. The Piaggio Group is now Europe's largest manufacturer of two wheeled vehicles and includes both Vespa and Moto Guzzi. The Vespa has off center engine which gives it a distinct look. When it was invented, this design resulted in a quieter ride and reduced the likelihood of oil and grease getting on clothing. It also puts the weight on the back wheel, which means it's better at carrying loads and climbing hills compared to similar sized motorbikes. Considering that the Vespa originated in Tuscany, this is a pretty important design function. In addition to being a great bike, it also has an iconic Italian brand that looks beautiful. As soon as we arrived in Vinci it was time for lunch. Schiacciata is a Tuscan dish and relates specifically to the bread. The term schiacciata literally means pressed and it refers to the fact that you need to press the dough down with your fingers when you put it in the tins. This method gives the bread its distinctive shape where you can see the thumbprints. Schiacciata can be served as an appetizer, as bread to accompany your food and as a sandwich. I've put a recipe in the description below. The church of Santa Croce was originally built in the 1200s. It's been rebuilt many times and owes its current appearance to restoration work in the 1920s. It's likely that Leonardo was baptized in this church and it may have been owned by his father. Leonardo da Vinci or Leonardo of Vinci in English was born in 1452 and died in 1519 which was when the Renaissance was at its peak. He's loved by Italians because of his wide range of expertise that included painting and engineering. The town of Vinci's focus is on him as an inventor with many of his inventions being far ahead of their time. In the final video of this series we will see some of his paintings. He considered sight to be the most important sense and considers sight to be the way to learn which he demonstrated through his many artworks of the human body and other parts of nature. He also had a strong intellect and ability to think the unthinkable, with many of his inventions being impossible to implement with the technology of the time, but centuries later proven to be workable. <music> Leonardo da Vinci 
Leonardo was a love child, with his mother being a peasant and father being a landowner. His mother married an artisan shortly after Leonardo's birth. Leonardo was brought up in his father's estate as a legitimate son. He received basic schooling of reading, writing and arithmetic, but not Latin, the key language of learning at the time. He taught himself Latin and complex maths when he was in his thirties. His artistic skill was evident as a child and at 15 he became an apprentice to a popular artist of the time. At the age of 30 he moved to Milan to work for the local Duke as painter and engineer, where he was frequently consulted as a technical advisor in the fields of architecture, fortifications and military matters, and he served as a hydraulic and mechanical engineer. In his 50s he did dissections at the local hospital to better understand human anatomy and he made systematic observations of bird flight and studied the movement of water. All of these studies were used in his inventions. Leonardo developed a unique new attitude about machines. He reasons that by understanding how each separate machine part worked, he could modify them and combine them in different ways to improve existing machines or create inventions no one had ever seen before. His fascination with machines began in childhood. As an art apprentice, he made sketches showing how various machines work. His notebooks explain and illustrate how elements of machines are combined. Later he used his knowledge to make designs that were centuries ahead of his time. After his death, his notebooks were hidden or lost and his ideas forgotten. Centuries passed before other inventors came up with similar ideas or brought them to practical use. Era finalmente giunto il momento di tornare a Firenze e vedere per l'ultima volta gli splendidi vigneti e gli ulivi. Avevamo una deliziosa camera del borgo proprio accanto al Duomo per sposarci e recuperare. Abbiamo anche potuto vedere tre serate di Liga dei Campioni con squadre italiane che affrontavano quelle inglesi in un bar artigianale. Il momento clou è stato l'Arsenal contro l'Atalanta, occasione in cui ho indossato la maglia dei Gunners. Spero che vi sia piaciuta la parte della Toscana dedicata al bikepacking e che tornerete la prossima settimana per l'episodio finale quando passeggeremo per Firenze. Se ti è piaciuto il video, fai clic sul posante mi piace e per assicurarti di non perdere mai qui un video sui posanti, iscriviti e campana. Grazie e buona settimana!